Hey everybody, and Tony here with a review of Wagner's Lohengrin, live from the Wiener Staatsoper, which I heard as a radio transmission last night on Ö1. The conductor was Yannick Nézé Segan, and the chorus master was Thomas Lang. I was looking forward to this particular Lohengrin mostly because of the cast consisting of Gunther Groisberg, Klaus Florian Vogt, Ricarda Merbet, Thomas Konieczny, Petra Lang, and Boaz Daniel. I'll get to them later, but first a few words of what I thought about the production done by Andreas Homoki. While the costumes with the gentlemen being in Lederhosen and the women being in Birndels were nice to look at, it felt like I was watching a different opera. When I think of Lohengrin, I think of gorgeous and elegant costumes, exciting and lifelike sceneries, and of course a little bit of magic and mysticism thrown in the mix, and also elements of the history of the Middle Ages. Here the entire action just seems to be taken place in just one setting, and it kind of gets monotonous but it still is a little bit of a worthy watch, but don't really expect anything grand or spectacular, even though it did have some pretty good ideas thrown in the mix. So the production is meh overall, and I have yet to see the entire production live, but based on some of my impressions in terms of what I saw in the trailer for the Zurich Opera House's production of Lohengrin, combined with the fact that I've also seen a couple of pictures online, my impressions of the production were meh in general. Now we get to the singers, starting off with Klaus Florian Vogt as Lohengrin. I've heard this gentleman live at the Deutsche Oper Berlin a couple of times, singing Faust from La Dame Stone de Faust, and of course, this role about four months ago. And I still have to say that he continues to do a solid job in terms of his voice. Yes, it's not a true spinto, let alone true held in tenor voice. In fact, it's very lyrical and it is quite light in terms of his timbre. But I still have to give him major credit in terms of his musicianship and how much he was able to act with this voice. Sure, I do love a meteor voice in terms of someone like, let's say, Sandor Konya or Peter Hoffman or Jess Thomas or James King and many other fine spinto tenors who have sung Lohengrin, but I still have to give Herr Vogt Lots of credit in terms of his overall musicianship as he sang everything well and he was able to give a certain innocence to this role and continue to make the role his own. Now we get to Elsa, sung by Ricarda Merbet. While she is a very decent musician, I seem to notice that her voice is starting to show signs of having vibratos, as evidenced in her first act aria, Einsam in Trüben Tagen, where there were moments in which I felt like her voice sounded a little bit worn out, but she got a lot better in the much later acts. Yes, this might have been due to the fact that Frau Merbet has also been singing a huge range of roles from the lyrical roles she used to do, like Pamina, to the more spintoy roles like Freya from the Sreingold, and even to some of the more dramatic escapades with the likes of Chrysotemis from Elektra, Zenta from the Fliegende Holländer, and of course Helena from the Egyptische Helena. So while her vibrato was very much in evidence in a lot of the scenes she appears in, she still has very good musicianship and her tone still maintains that fullness and that brightness despite showing signs of trouble here and there. Friedrich von Telemann was sung by the ever-wonderful Thomas Konieczny, who gives a very 
fine performance in terms of his signature stentatorian Helen baritone voice. And he uses that voice very, very well in order to add some menace to this character, in order to add some dignity as well, and just to really make this character come alive, which is not easy to do on the radio. And Petra Lang's Ortrud was superbly sung. She was basically the main reason why I was looking forward to this particular audio transmission. I have heard nothing but amazing things about this singer. And I can safely say that it is all legitimate. Petra Lang, much like her predecessors, Waltraud Meyer, Hedwig Fassbender, Lioba Braun, and Violetta Ormana, has specialized in a huge range of roles. She started off as a lyric mezzo, singing roles like Cherubino from Nozze di Figaro and Fenena from Nabucco, to singing the more dramatic mezzo roles of Brangena, Fricka, and Waltraute, to the Zwischenfach roles of Zeglinde and Cassandra, Ortrud, Kondri, and Venus, to her recent Hochdramatische Sopran escapades with Isolde, Brunhilde, and even Marie from Wozzeck. She is very superb as a singer, as evidence in how she was able to give this character a lot of menace and a lot of composure and intelligence and really continues to make the role of Ortrud her own. She's been singing this role for a great number of years and it's very much in evidence in how she was able to portray this iconic Wagnerian anti-heroine. She sang wonderfully. Her voice was very homogenous throughout all the registers. She was able to manipulate her high dramatic mezzo slash dramatic soprano voice very, very well. And she was able to make such a great impression in this role, which she has been very famous for. And I really loved her her rendition of the invocation in Tvaita Goethe, in which she was able to sing with such furor and beauty, and it's such a very well-done performance of a very iconic Wagnerian character. Singing the role of Heidrich der Vogler was Gunther Groisberg, who was absolutely fabulous in this role, as he continues to be. I've heard this gentleman sing roles like Landgraf Hermann from Tannhäuser, and of course, his Heinrich der Vogler at the Deutsche Oper Berlin four months ago alongside Klaus Florian Vogt. I really love the timbre of his voice. It has that signature roundness of any basso profondo slash basso cantante, and it is very homogenous throughout all the registers, and his voice is warm all throughout. Not to mention, when you see him on stage, it is definitely very riveting because he has one of the handsomest stage presences ever. He does a very fine job in making Heinrich de Vogler a very dignified and very fatherly character, and he was able to sing wonderfully all throughout. His high notes were clarion and strong, and his low notes were cavernous and rich. It's a really wonderful combination of homogeneousness throughout his voice and a great presence on the radio which he was able to do wonderfully. And he was able to portray Heinrich der Vogler with such great dimension and a great sense of dignity added with this wonderful character. Boaz Daniel as the Herald of the King, known in German as der Herufer des Königs, was absolutely well sung. He really knew how to manipulate his lyric dramatic baritone voice, and I thought that this was a perfect fit for this baritone as he was able to sing his 
lines very wonderfully, even though this role is quite thankless. So overall, this singing was very solid all around. Special kudos really has to go to the likes of Thomas Konieczny as Telramund, the ever-wonderful Petra Lang as Ortrud, Gunther Groisböck as Heinrich der Vogler, and Boaz Daniel as the Herald. Klaus Florian Vogt and Ricardo Merbet were still very solid all around. But the likes of Konieczny, Lang, Groisböck, and Daniel have basically stole their thunder. The conducting done by Maestro Yannick Nizé Segan was very solid, as he stated in the interview that this was also his first time conducting Lohengrin, though he did have his fair share of conducting some Wagnerian operas in the past. It's a very solid job, and he really knew how to manipulate the orchestra very well. However, there were some passages which were a little bit too fast for my taste, and some that could have used a lot more gravitas, but I still have to give him credit for doing a very solid job in terms of conducting the orchestra of the Wiener Staatsoper. So overall, this was definitely a very solid recording of one of my favorite Wagner operas of all time. You still have time to listen to this, and you won't be disappointed, especially when you have the likes of Petra Lang's magnificently sung Ortrud. Well, that's all for now. Be sure to tune in for another review. I don't know when, but you'll see. So until then, have a great day, everybody!